and dancing just flex. Real flag boss, you know what just flex? Just flex, tell them some prior words. Just flex, keep your posted all on your crews, you know what just flex with. Subscribers, much respect for this old boy. Number one, Mr. Ya just flex. Yeah, so I go and bless up, bless up, bless up, good night. Bless up, bless up to Power Squad. Bless up, bless up to Lifetime Squad, yeah? Just a forward in come to give you guys an update also, share a couple of videos and thing. And we have to do this from our brain because no article, no news feed, no make this an article, you know? So I just bless so we have to do it from our brain. So, man shot and kill that is yard gate in Fletcher's Land, Kingston. Yeah, man was shot and killed by gunmen at his yard gate in Fletcher's Land, in Kingston and the deceased is identified only as Ramon R. Bigger from a Fletcher's Land address and reports are that Bigger was standing at his yard gate when he was pounced upon by gunmen who opened gunfire killing him on the spot right and my peeps this incident happened like around you know, said December 20 but no news feed no bill it I have him pitch and thing me to get a look great lead from a credible source so i could have really give you guys it now but me realize uh, no article now bring it up so right now you know say certain news on go over just black stevie alone and you can't find it aside because me no know still but the news feed them when i check and whisper i come from really and truly yeah news hardly make about killings and them thing there so right now all who are follow just black so you just know so no follow our channel right now we are going to keep on up to date on things when no other channel now go really know about your site so this man goes by the name ramon or bigger from fletcher's land was shot and killed at his yard gate by gunmen right and right now police really have to go start putting some work coming this 2021 because right now this christmas here a lot of life we see lost you know yeah a lot of People got killed. But when I go to peeps, I don't go really in no bag of talking. I just make you watch the videos them. I soon forward. I'm going to sit here and wait a little. Um, see if anybody comes to join me. I'm in the back of my um, yard. In fact... Do you know your call is maybe patio i know it's after 12 o'clock so maybe not many people are here on facebook at this time most people might be at lunch i want to talk about hi Duane. happy holidays to you i'm here to talk about the jamaica public service today because i feel that they are uncaring they're a disgusting group and um they continue to do a lot of things that hurts jamaicans and nobody's speaking about it there was a time you know when you had people who would speak about jps and what jps is doing but very few people will speak up about it you know may very 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 few people so JPS came to lock off my electricity yesterday because I'd owed for a few days. Not owing for a month, not owing for two months, just a few days. In fact, I didn't even know I was owing JPS. I thought that my bill was due on the 30th or the 29th. I think the 30th. I thought it was due on the 30th. So I wasn't in any hurry to pay the bill. So, but they came to my gate, and I live in a gated community, by the way. I'm probably one of the poorest people in my community. And um, my ambitions early in life was to live where I live. In fact, for years I thought that I could never live in Montego Freeport because we just never have the money. And we just never think that we can't live in Montego Freeport until a man that I met told me, no, Janet Silvera, you can't live a Montego Freeport if you want to live a Montego Freeport, you know. You just have to have faith. And so I live in a community where there are not very many single women like myself. It's mainly families, etc., etc. So the JPS people came to my gate yesterday and the security called me frantically and said, Miss Silvera, Miss Silvera, 
JPS, JPS, I'm cut off your light. And I remember Mother Sarah, same time. Mother Sarah always, Mother Sarah have a house on a hill, right? And Mother Sarah always has said, she don't want JPS to come cut off the light because she lived on the top of the hill, so everybody in the community goes see when they cut off her light. <laughs> so, I always try to pay her bill on time. But I've noticed that the Jamaica public service they were uncaring before, but they have gotten to an extent that is unbelievable. Unbelievable. When I say unbelievable, I mean to them uncaring. They will just disconnect your light without any thoughts about you, the fact that you pay them every single month. I pay my light bill every single month. Whether I'm late 10 days or I'm late one day, I'm only two weeks, me pay my light bill. No, if me I go pay my light bill every day, every month, right? And you know that I'm paying my light bill. Why are you bother cut off my light? Why are you bothering people like me who are honest, who don't steal light? I pay my bills. I might be late, but I pay you every single month. Why you cut off my bill, my light? Why don't you go and look for those? who are not paying their bills. Those people who continue to owe you for years, those who owe you for months and on end. There is an elderly man that I look after. Uh, uh. He's blind. JPS continues to cut his electricity. The, the bill was late for seven days last month. Seven days. When we say seven days, we mean only seven days. Do you know that JPS went and disconnected the blind man's electricity. Them said them no no say I'm blind. The man is almost 80 years old. And every single time that I think about what JPS did to that man last year, I said to him, you know, I keep wondering, how is it that the elderly in this country are managing under these strenuous circumstances? Because they say, this, this is a really rough year, you know. Many people have lost their jobs, but guess what? Some of them communities where some of them people are living in, JPS can't go in there. They cannot go into those communities. But them choose to go to the people them who are paid them electricity bill. Me think that JPS need to stop it. Somebody needs to talk to those people. Somebody needs to get to JPS and let them know that people who are paying their electric, electricity bill need to be given grace period particularly now at that time when so many of us have lost our jobs i pay my bills but there are days when i might be late in this case i wasn't even aware that i was late because i looked at a different bill and thought that was my JPS bill and that it was due on either I think the 29th or the I can't like Jamaica Jamaica my country where I live in I can't like Jamaica look on the condition where the girl I live in for years now and she take it to the street across her because she need help for she and her picnic she never left him lock up in the house she never left house a bun down with him she never left him go sleep a man here. She came across the road with her a beg with him. And at the end of the day, you never find her for taking her from her. That means she'd have care him. Because if she'd have less care him, resident would have must support her already. And now when Zanz and them come in and me, myself, and whole heap more people, I plan for go help her, for build up her little room, for make sure and her picnic them comfortable. Government go take him from her for what reason? Eh? She not sleep out a crossroad with him. She just go out there with him, go beg, cause she not have no other source. Me, sister, she have like a mental challenge. It might not great, but she have like a mental challenge. And at the end of the day, if she did have a stay, the little boy, the resident, to the calling in already. And she take care of her, matter condition. You can see, says the little boy was taken care of. And now when it publicized, Say we are going to build up a room and help her and every little thing. And so me go out there go look for her and forget her number. And I'll put some together. They are going to tell me that the state is going to take her picnic. For what reason? And one thing me I tell you today. 
You see anybody who got take car picnic with a woman or a man on a wicked. On a art lesson, you know, nothing else to do. Why never help fix the house so she and the little boy for stay now? Eh? And that, who no Jamaican government do are the people that rule under the government? Eh? This man could people life. Separate people from them family. Eh? All she want is a proper roof over her head. She fit enough for the mean as Sarah's unfit mother. All she do are poor. Poor and being an unfit mother are two different something. Yes, sister, she gathered a little boy with her life. And that's all you can go do on top of the three man we rape her. And make sure have an unwanted belly right now. Go take her picnic. That means you not tear her up physically, emotionally, mentally. Hey, you no know, wicked. Me tell you that you no know, wicked. Yeah, so welcome back. Bless up power squad and lifetime squad, you know? Yeah, and right now we just have to do a we're gonna review them video and thing, you know. So the first video female, you know, complaining about JPS, you know. Just to be a cut off her light, you know, if she late one week or two weeks late. Well, if you tell the truth, Miss Anna, you alone have got through that process. Serious thing. But when I just want you know, see, I just wish JPS just do the best and help. You know, guys, because really and truly, they are not caring, none at all. So, really and truly, you know, when you go say no, even <coughs> them, the, 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 the JPS, them not going to certain communities, miss. If you tell you the truth, right now where you live, you live our Montego Freeport. You say it and you talk, say if you don't have money, you can't go there, go live. What about those who can't afford the first thousand dollar, right? For even say to get food put in their belly. So you have to check six or one half dozen or the other. But what me do, me just wish the blind man we are talking about, me just wish him get some help. Yeah, because... The elder them now we reaching a certain age bracket of them we have to really, you know, wish the best for. And we just move on to this female you know, we are talk for Natasha because the police them disarm her son and when the female they are cross road, homeless, we wouldn't say homeless because she never homeless, she have a yard, but at this she got hustle. With her son, they never take, take with the baby. That's sad. So my peeps, what me I go do, I not keep up no more time. Let's share in the comment in the section below and we out. And them for no side, Ja Ahmeds, representing for Just Blex. Just Blex tell them some prior words. When the heat ends, I try for you. Was he a dire hurt? The most I alert. If I them alone, them alone. Yeah, man, Just Blex, you don't know your success getting them upset, you know what I mean?